Hi there, welcome to our April market update. Uh, it's a great opportunity to have a look back, uh, talk about what's been going on over the first quarter, uh, the first three months of 2018, and then also have a look ahead and try and think about what's gonna be happening as we move down towards the summer months uh, and through to the end of the year. So the first three months of this year, it's kind of been plagued by some pretty awful weather, uh, but you know, notwithstanding that, the market seems to have held its own. Uh, certainly at that, those headline levels, so the number of new properties coming to market, broadly the same as it was uh, at this point last year, and that's encouraging, albeit to a lot of people looking out there in the market, I think there will still appear to be a relative shortage of property out there to choose from. In terms of the number of property sales agreed, we were a little bit less than we were at this point of last year, about 2% down. That may be down to the weather, that may also be down to the fact that people seem to be pushing their prices just that little bit further, and buyers are just taking that moment to say, is that the sort of property I want to buy? Is that the type of price I want to purchase at? Maybe a bit more thought coming into things. You know, the biggest challenge for us though remains in getting the deals through from under offer to an exchange of contract. That's where the battle is really at at the moment. And we have a team of people who are ready to help people do that. Our move managers and our team of expert progressors there on hand to help people get to that point where they actually physically get the keys. You know, overall, number of buyers that we're putting onto the books is up. The number of first time buyers that we're registering, 15% up on where we were at this point last year. And all of that adds up to some good movement in prices. The average house price across Manning Stainton, 5.4% higher than it was at this point last year, particularly across those first and second time buyer parts of the market. You know, those really nice houses close to good local schools and amenities, that's where it's at. And Rightmove confirms a similar thing, a 1.5% increase in the average price of property coming to market in just one month, so just over the last month. So looking ahead, I can't see much of a change. The demand is there the supply remains relatively static. And so as long as that continues, things will keep going as they are. Perhaps our auction that happened at Ellen Road is no greater sign of this. 100% success at our auction at Ellen Road uh, for all the properties sold by our Leeds office. That's almost unheard of and a great sign of how busy things are in the market. So as long as the mortgage money remains, as long as the political landscape doesn't alter, I think the next few months as we run down to the summer and as we come towards the end of the year are going to offer much of the same and I look forward to catching up with you in these market updates. As always though, if you want to find out more about what's going on in the market in your area, we're available 8am till 8pm, seven days a week. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about how we can help you move in 2018.